Today, Melvin and Marilyn Olson are financially set, thanks to the successful water company they started in Oregon. Things haven't always been easy, but no matter what, they consistently tithed and taught their sons to live by the same biblical principle. One of the things that my parents always taught us was do the right thing because it's the right thing to do. We're trained to tithe. I think we've always accepted on face value that that's important to do. Um, we, we would pick strawberries and we'd get a couple bucks or whatever, and we would do the math and we would tithe on that. Even when Melvin was a farmer, money was tight and the family lived on hand-me-downs and stale bread, the Olsons still tithed. We didn't know we were poor. Growing up, um, my parents did a great job of, of just, this is life and this is how you work hard and eventually you become successful um, if you're faithful in what you do and faithful in how you tithe. What you tithe, you're laying up your treasure in heaven. I always felt that he would carry us through. Uh, he's, he's never let us down. And so it was just a joy for us to, to be obedient to him. Melvin and Marilyn started giving to CBN in 1995. And through years of obedience, they saw God meet all their needs and then some. Uh, there's rewards with uh, being faithful to God. One reward was the opportunity for Melvin to start Highland Water, over a million dollar business. I have to give the credit to God because he's the one that uh, is uh, growing the business now, it's not me. I believe part of that is the result of how I handled the tithe and so forth. Sometimes I wake up in the morning and I can't believe where we are today compared to where we were. I'm amazed when I think how we can't outgive him. But the laying a good foundation with our giving, it opened the doors so that God could bless us back. To this day, the Olsons and all of their sons still tithe and give, and the legacy lives on. I have four kids and we've taught them through a variety of different ways of the principle of tithing. And because they do that, they are seeing the, the blessings of God in their own life. It's, it's what you do first. It's the first check that you write, and then you live off of what's left. Whether you have a lot or a little, his principles work, but he tests you when you have a little. You don't say, I'm gonna wait until I have a whole lot of money that I'm gonna give. You start where you're at. Finances will turn around. The Lord's faithful every time.